Welcome back everyone, I'm Paul Holloway and on today's video we're going to compare Couplant and Honey. Is honey actually a good couplant? Uh, we're going to do a completely unscientific experiment and find out. I've got uh, some regular couplant that comes in a, uh, let's say about a gallon bag and costs about 80 or 100 bucks Canadian. Um, I've got some uh, other stuff here, which is sort of regular run of the mill couplant. I've got some uh, high acoustic impedance ultrasonic couplant. And then way back at the back of the garage is the original Holloway NDT couplant, which is that uh, A bag, B bag, mix it up uh, with some washer fluid and you've got yourself some Canadian couplant for the long winters. So we'll try that too. Actually, we're going to start with this because it's the least viscous. And just like every spray bottle seems to have a, you know, fails on you, we're going to give it the old fashioned, you know, one of those. Nothing funny going on in the bottom. Over here. And we will use that sort of cheap couplant as the baseline. So we're going to wiggle this around a little bit and see how good we, that's about as good as we can get. We'll take our DB, bump that up a bit. Okay, so it looks like I got about 36.9-ish. So we're going to set that as my reference and go from there. And so we'll clean off our probe and this, and we will move up to the first couplant. This one is a little bit better and it is at 1.6 dB better. Couple number two. Slightly more viscous. Again, completely unscientific. Uh, about the same. Couple number three. This is the uh, high acoustic impedance. Ultrasonic couplant for rough, pitted, corroded surfaces and concrete. Oh, well, I've never done concrete. Must be good. About the same, maybe a little bit better. All right, we'll say 2.2, slightly better. And now we will go for the honey. Not even close, man. Not even close. We are at an astounding 10 decibels better than the cheap stuff. So was honey a good couplant? Uh, well, the acoustic impedance certainly is nice, uh, but the post clean is a nightmare. First of all, you've got a sticky probe that you've got to clean off and it's going to get dust and dirt all over it. And then, you're going to try to clean this mess up. Ugh. No, thank you. Um, looks like I'm leaving little bits of towel all over the place. So in summary, honey is a good couplant, but not a good choice. Let's see what happens on pipe. Hello there. I have a pipe. That I've set up and we're gonna see which one sticks better to the bottom. So we're gonna start with the blue stuff and in a completely unscientific fashion I'm gonna blob some around then we'll try the first regular couplant right there and the second regular couplant and the third regular couplant actually this is the high acoustic impedance couplant and Good old honey. Okay, I was generous with the honey blob. Now we're gonna sit and wait. Yeah. 
Okay, so we had our first drip. I was pretty generous with the honey, but it's still holding on. This guy over here is really thin. This would not work very well on the side of a pipe. All of these here are good. The last one is honey and it's just too sticky. Let's try the post clean. This guy, which is the one I mixed with washer fluid, easy to clean off because it's not very viscous. This one, the first of the normal bunch, totally fine. Second of the normal bunch, also totally fine, maybe actually easier. The high viscosity couplet, about the same as the first normal one and the honey, pain in the butt. Yeah, yuck, there you go. So if you've got a choice between running back to the shop and picking up the couplet that you forgot or just stopping at a diner and picking up a pack of honey, mm, you should probably go back to the shop. Uh, honey is neat to play around with, but the post clean is a nightmare. And besides, it's not in your procedure. I hope you found that video useful and thanks for watching.